so he's a happy guy. A beautiful San Diego sunset, the backdrop for a heartbreaking vigil tonight. Family and friends of Anthony Womack sharing his widespread impact during his very brief 15 years of life. Good evening, I'm Kimberly Hunt. And I'm Derek Stahl, in for Steve Atkinson. Anthony was killed after jumping off Sunset Cliffs with his friends. 10 News reporter Cassie Carlisle explains the moment that meant so much to his family. More than 100 people came out here and stayed for hours. I spoke with Anthony Womack's grandmother who told me she found closure. <laughs> Loved ones wiping away tears, hugging one another, and sharing memories. Amazing seeing him every single day, seeing how happy he was walking to class. Anthony skipped class Wednesday and jumped off the cliff with friends, but he didn't come back up. His friends say he didn't know how to swim. What happened? And he's, they were like, Anthony's, Anthony's dead. Uh, right when I heard that, my whole body just froze. I had no words to say. I just started bursting out tears. The news gripping the school. The whole school was quiet. Friday night, Anthony's grandma spoke with friends who were at the cliffs the day he died, giving her closure. She also said that was the second time he ever ditched school. He's in all of their hearts and their eyes and their minds. They all know him. Anthony's uncle bringing the kids together. They had all their heads down in the morning and, you know, we don't want that. Anthony wouldn't want that. Instead, spreading the light Anthony gave to so many. When they passed this point, Sunset Cliffs, this is not just another place where water just hits against the rock. It's somewhere their friend was taken to a higher level saying everyone here is family. I love you and I miss you. And tomorrow there will be a car wash to fundraise for his funeral. It will be at the Church of God of Prophecy from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. Reporting at Sunset Cliffs, Cassie Carlisle, 10 News.